Hi guys and welcome back to Football Manager 2017 as Real Madrid. So the first game that we're going to be playing today is away to Real Betis in the league. Looking to see out the end of the league campaign and secure the title. James Rodriguez unfortunately has picked up an injury so we'll give up his place on the bench to Asensio. Marian Prince comes back in and Varane will actually get to start this game as he looks to get back to fitness. Modric also will be starting the game for fitness as will Asensio. So a couple of changes in the side today. Jose Gaia will also be coming in for Carvajal. And Divo Corrigi will start instead of Alvaro Morata. I was considering Ronaldo there but he's going to start ahead of Morata. And we're going to continue with that. A slightly rotated side but definitely a side that should be powerful enough to take down Real Betis. Uh, we're going to get rid of that. We already have our budget, incidentally, because we have secured at least Champions League football this, uh, next season. Of course, we're looking to close out the, the league campaign and secure the title, which should be fairly routine for us from here. But our budget, as I was alluding to for next season, is £182 million. So we're going to have a nice, fun bit of bit of a spending spree perhaps in the summer. I don't foresee any positions that I really, really, really need to strengthen, but I may go and snap up between 5 and 10 youth prospects for the future, because I think if we go, we spend between 100, 120 million, we'll leave a bit of 60 million or something just in case somebody pops up on the transfer list. Uh, in January. Good hit from Origi and it's in off the goalkeeper. Lovely. But if we can go and spend between 100 and 120 million of that 180 million and we can bring in 5 to 10 youth prospects, that is going to save us money down the line because we won't then have to go and spend 60, 70 million on one player down the line because we'll have brought in those classy options when they were younger for the cheaper price. Although, I mean, I say the cheap price, 100, 120 million, it's easy for me as Real Madrid to say that's a, a cheap price, but it is when you're Real Madrid, I guess. So we'll be looking to maybe take advantage of a lot of loans. Perhaps some of the players in our team might leave. Maybe guys like Isco, who've flattered to deceive a little bit. There's not a lot between him and James Rodriguez, I don't think. Maybe if we got a huge offer for James Rodriguez, I'd consider letting him go, but we'll see what happens. The game here actually been a bit disappointing from us today. Uh, forward it goes to Ruben Castro now, facing up Varane, who's just shrugged off that injury and come back playing well. Origi flicking it on, Ronaldo chasing it. Can he beat the keeper? No. Good play by the goalkeeper there. Varane heads it on, Origi flicks it towards Bale. Bale losing to Popov. Nahuel can't get it ahead of Danilo. Flicked away, Danilo again. Poor header from him though. Castro forward, but Varane again picks it up. He's played very well today, Varane. Vallejo, who's had a great season, playing it to Ronaldo and Modric to Kroos. Good to see Modric back. Kroos does lose it and Nahuel this time is in behind. Dinks it across. Danny Caballos and it's a poor hit from him and it's easy for the goalkeeper to just gather that one. And we should be taking our 1-0 lead into the break. Maybe a couple of changes at half time. Let's see. Playing well, but there's still room for improvement. I'm going to risk it here, and I'm going to take Modric off for Berardi as he continues to try and improve in that position. He's still not very good in that position at all. He still has the ineffectual rating there, but I'm hopeful that he'll get it. Isco might come on for Asensio, but not yet. It's good for Modric to be getting some more minutes, though. We'll need his class and his quality if we're going to win the Champions League. Kovacic is a great player, phenomenal player, actually. He will... Soon enough, I think he'll he'll overtake Modric in the in the starting lineup. But at the minute, Modric is still better. He has the big game experience and he has the quality. So we definitely want to have him in the Champions League, and it's good to see him coming back. Pretty easy stuff here for us today. Just going to see out the game. Perhaps take Varane off for the last twenty, and then. Look to have a go from there. Let's take Varane off now. We will bring Morata on for Origi. And we'll see you at the rest of the game. Okay, so we've seen out that game without much incident. 
Well, Eho coming forward, Berardi to Gareth Bale. Helps her on to Ronaldo, to Gaia. Could have slipped it in there, I think. Crosses it, Bale can't get there. Sends you on, Ronaldo flicks it. Good save by the goalkeeper at point blank range. We haven't exactly set the world on fire today, but it's been a competent performance and a clean sheet for the young goalkeeper, which is nice. Tony Kroos hoofs it in, played away. Ronaldo to Kroos, we should just hold on to this now, I think. Or not. Ruben Castro plays it long, but it's well blocked. And played over the top, but it will end one goal to nil. Yep, good win boys, calmly. And we are now 17 points clear of Barcelona with 24 points left to play for. So we should be tying up the league fairly soon. Three more wins and there should be nothing that, well there will be nothing that they can do about it. So, as I was saying, the, the spending spree in the summer, I'm going to look to have some options maybe for some guys who are getting on a bit in, in years. So Ronaldo and Bale are some that... Maybe Ronaldo more so than Bale. Out wide, he's he, he's still probably going to have two or three seasons as one of the best in the world, but ultimately we need someone in there who's going to be able to play, possibly not to his level, but somewhere close. So Martial is one of the ones that we are, we're are having a little early scout of. He's only three stars just now, but has potential for four. That would still leave him a star behind Ronaldo, but... It's going to be a hell of an ass to find someone who can play as well as Ronaldo. And Martial is playing well in the Champions League for United, but is a little lacklustre in the league. Needs someone who can do it all. Marcus Rashford is obviously a, a wonder kid up front. Could be phenomenal, but the price tag could be as high as 95 million, which is just ludicrously high. Pretty much the same goes for Gabriel Jesus. De Bruyne, I'm not interested. He's a bit old. Bazor, nah, he's okay. Same with Max Meyer. John Flanagan was kind of interesting. Just because they told me to scout uh, John Flanagan, I decided to take a look and uh, pretty much what I expected. Not not good enough. So we'll be attacking Shakhtar, of course. I think fullbacks were pretty much okay on. Carvajal and Danilo still have a lot of years left in them. On the left, we've got lots of players. Right, let's see. Berardi feels individual training is not beneficial. He's been told to work on his positioning. His positioning is eight, so he definitely needs to work on that. He's been trained as a roaming playmaker. It's still not really doing much for him, but we have signed a couple of the lads who were in on the youth... You know, the, the, the youth intake. They're all right. They're not particularly great. I don't feel any need to show any of them particularly. If we have a little look here, this striker is alright. 16 years old. Say hello to Miguel Sanchez. Decent bit of pace, can't dribble though. Crossing's okay, free kick taking's okay, but again it's going to take a lot for Miguel Sanchez to, to come on. I kind of feel like I want to nickname him Lionel Hutz. If anybody uh Gets that joke from The Simpsons. And Benfica have actually beaten Arsenal 3-1 in Portugal. Might not be enough. Arsenal might overturn that back in London. But if not, and Benfica get to the semi-final, then that could be an easy opponent for us in the semi-final. But uh, Bayern Munich with the 2-0 win over Napoli. Fairly routine for them. I expect them to beat Napoli convincingly. The other semi-final is Manchester United versus Atletico Madrid. And I'm very interested to see how they get on. I would rather play Atletico Madrid, I think, because Man United in this, I think Man United in this game are overrated. To be honest, they're not as good as the game seems to think they are. So I'm going to go with Carvajal in place of Danilo. Jose Gaia will continue his his position. Varane and Vallejo. Uh, I'm tempted to, to to give them a go at it, but I'm going to bring Ramos back in, and we'll go with Varane and Ramos. Can't take too many risks with the selection here. But I take Origi back out for Morata. Just have a little look down here, see if there's anyone we want to bring in. There isn't. So Modric is going to start this one. He's at 81%, but he is going to start. Isco will come back in too. Kovacic has played okay this season. He's still only 23 years old, though. He's a quality player, though. He will be classy in the future. Possibly not quite going to reach Modric level. I mean, he might. He might. 
Yeah, he might, but he's not going to reach Kroos' current level, I don't think. But let's proceed with this. We're going to Ukraine now. We should be able to see this one out. I don't see too many problems with beating Shakhtar. I don't think they're Bernard and Carlos, Tyson, Stepanenko, Fred, Marlos, or I mean, they're all players pretty much that they start with, so they haven't signed any crazy regens or anything like that. We don't need to give too many specific instructions. We just have to go out, play our game, and beat them, frankly, as we should be doing, because they're... They're not a top-tier side. They're a side that you're delighted if you draw them in the Champions League quarter-final, as we have done. They're definitely one of the easier teams you'll face at this stage. They've done well to get to the, to the quarter-finals. They got lucky, in a sense, in their last 16 draw that they got Roma. But uh, here we go now. Gaia to Kroos. Kroos with a bit of space. Into Marata. Holding it up. Playing it to Bale. Smacks one. And that's in. Is he offside? Nope. There's questions over uh, over the goal for offside there as the ball was played, but Gareth Bale, a lovely first-time effort, guides it beyond the goalkeeper. 1-0 Real Madrid, early doors in Ukraine. And that should see us on our way now. Ramos playing it forward to Modric. Modric losing it to Fred, which is disappointing. They have the two up front there, so they could stretch us, but Carvajal tracking back, beautiful. Varane, cross over the top, Bale's on his bike. He's slowed down a little bit, a lovely turn of pace, whips it in, Morata up with the header, and he's hit the frame of the goal. It wasn't the best ball in truth by Gareth Bale, but Morata did well to make something of it and hits the bar. If we could get a convincing win here, if we could get like a 3-0 like a win or something here, then we could play some rotational lads in the second leg. It'd be good to get them that Champions League experience. But Gareth Bale being talked to by the referee here, hopefully not a card, hopefully just a word. And Gareth Bale is getting away with it. Good. Just a word. Now the free kick will be delivered into the box though. Hopefully we can contain this. Whipped in. Cleared away by Modric. Beautiful. Will be picked up by Rakitsky. Plays it to Fred. Forward to Bernard. To Ismaili. Good ball. Good play from them but Tony Kroos gets it but it does break to Carlos. Ismaili now. Good ball to Stepanenko. Loses it to Varane but it it will break to Kroos in the end. Very congested play there. Modric with a great ball out to Ronaldo. Gaia's on the overlap. Ronaldo coming inside. Tries to play it out wide, but it's a great block. And Fred plays it to Bernard, who dinks it to Carlos. Perfect pass. One-on-one. -on -one. What a finish. Sometimes you just have to applaud the quality of the opposition. And that's Carlos's 11th goal of the season. It is 1-1. Shakhtar back in it. Not pleased with how we defended that one, but... As I say, sometimes you have to applaud the quality of the opposition. Kroos now coming forward. He pokes it to Gareth Bale. Can he unleash another one? He can, but it's blocked by his own man. Tyson will pick that up. They're a very technically gifted side, Shakhtar. <clears throat> Obviously not quite as technically gifted as we are, but they do have the ability to ping these passes around. Carlos playing it to Bernard now, who's a little isolated. Holds it up, but Ramos does win it from him. Isco then losing it to Fred. Rakitsky over the top for Marlos, but Gaia easily cushions it down to Isco. Isco playing it through to Bale. We could have a bit of a chance here going forward. Oof, bad challenge, but Bale gets past it. Fred, though, wins it again. He's looked a player today, that Fred. And there you go, in behind Carlos to Bernard. One-on-one, -on -one, runs it in, and it's a good save by Keylor Navas. But we really have to shape up here. We're giving away too many chances. Tell them to concentrate because they're a bit lax at the back. And the two up top are causing us problems. Not pleased with this. Navas with a 6.4, but I think it's harsh to say he could have done anything about the goal. I'm going to tell them we're actually not pleased with this because I expect us to beat Shakhtar home and away. They're not a particularly great side. I don't actually have a left back on the bench, which is an oversight on my part. I should have a left back on the bench. Um, I think at half time. Oof. Yeah, I'm going to take Modric off for Kovacic. There's no obvious change actually there, which is a bit concerning. So is Melee now with the throw to Stepanenko? Helps it on to Tyson. Tyson plays it to Carlos. Far too easy. He plays it in for Bernard, but it should be read by Ramos, which it is this time. Ramos loses it under his feet a bit, but does get it to Navas, who plays it to Jose Gaia now. Gaia to Kovacic. <coughs> Excuse me. To Isco and Kroos. Thought he could have played it forward quicker, but he gets it to Bale now. 
Bale charging in on that left foot looking to unleash again but plays it to Kovacic in the end he sees Gaia's overlap perfectly Gaia nice touch cutting it back Kovacic in and Morata given far too much space in the middle there and from that range Morata's always going to stick that in the back of the net no trouble 2-1 and we're back in command as long as we get the win here then I don't need it to be by 3 or 4 goals as I was initially wanting it to be as long as we win I'm supremely confident Ronaldo pinching it cutting in hitting it and it is in 3-1 perfect goal from Ronaldo cuts in easily picks a spot guides it in 3-1 much happier now much much happier good performances by the front the front players here and Bernard plays it to Kovalenko and Fred they'll be they'll be gutted They'll be gutted. They gave us such a good go in the first half and to come out in the second half and be two goals down within 12 minutes. It's harsh on them as Marlos heads it to Fred and Kovalenko <clears throat> to Bernard. Helps it on to Carlos. Nice touch. Plays it back to Bernard. Kilo Navas with a save. So they're clearly not that gutted. Their heads clearly haven't went down. They're playing well still. Just not well enough. They got the worst draw that they could have got. So... I I feel somewhat for them. I would like to have maybe seen them take on Atletico or something like that, but nah, who, who am I kidding? I, want, <laughs> I wanted to play them all day. Gareth Bale picks it up now, coming inside. Could we get a fourth? Isco now holding it up. Back to Tony Kroos. Time to pick a pass. Kovacic now to Isco. Casual as you like. Gaia has lost his marker. Gaia drives it across. Bale can't put it in. Ronaldo, what a save by Payatov onto the post. Oof, that is some save by the goalkeeper. Ronaldo robbed of a goal there. And Berardi and Asensio coming on now. I'd like to see I'd like to see both of them do something actually. Carvajal to Berardi. Good touch. Crosses it low, but it's a pish cross in honesty. Payatov will pick that up. Payatov playing it long. Headed on by Varane. Tony Crows playing it to Kovacic. Kovacic coming forward on the ball now. On to Asensio, we're starting to really take command of this one now as he loses it to Malyshev. Bernard picking the ball up, plays it over the top. Tyson with a bit of a chance here, he could find Carlos, he does. Perfect play by them, takes it wide but Navas with a good save. And Carvalho gets it clear. They still have a bit of something about them and there's a foul on Morata. That was a smart foul because Morata could have cushioned it onto one of our lads there. Ordnets is probably going to go in the book for that one. Taking on some refreshments there as there's a lull in the action. So 15 minutes to go. 3-1, commanding lead. Asensio to deliver this free kick. Pings one in, headed away, not convincingly, and Serna with a foul. It was a handball, actually. Ronaldo will step up with the penalty to check the scores. Atletico 2 up against Man United. Interesting. I would rather have the Madrid derby than play United. Ronaldo scores 4-1. And that's absolute curtains for Shakhtar now. 35 goals for Ronaldo for the season. I didn't think Shakhtar would have any chance really in the tie, but at 1-1 at half time I was a bit concerned. Carlos getting forward now. Pinging it to Bernard. Decent touch. He slips it to Marlos, gets him wide. He can cross that in. Wellington Nem arriving. Navas couldn't keep it out. 4 2. Still don't see anything in the game for them. 2 minutes to add on. Can we get a fifth and absolutely bury them? Kroos delivers it deep. Varane's in there. Heads are on. Yes, we can. It's poor from Payatov, probably there. Varane. Strong header into the net beyond the goalkeeper. 5 2. And there should be no way back into this for Shakhtar. They'll need to get four goals when they come to Madrid. And I, I highly doubt that they will. Highly doubt that they will. Serna to deliver the free kick, but it should easily be dealt with. Bouncing around there, Tony Kroos gets rid. And that will probably be the last action of the game. Malashev trying to do something with it here, but it is. 90 minutes, full time. Great display from us. Cristiano Ronaldo with the two goals. Morata with a goal and an assist. They've played well today. And it ends 2-0 in the other game. So I'm pleased with that one. Real Madrid hammer Shakhtar. Yep. We certainly do hammer Shakhtar. So, 
that's going to be it for this episode. Next time when we come back, we're going to be playing Alaves at home and Shakhtar Donetsk at home. Possibly so should add as well, but we'll see how long the other games take us next time. So I hope you've enjoyed this episode. We should be in the semi-final of the Champions League now after that performance. So I hope you come back next time and I'll see you then.